Today we cover the chapter Living World. Biology is the science of life forms and non-living processes. The living world comprises an amazing diversity of living organisms. In order to facilitate the study of kinds and diversity of organisms, biologists have evolved certain rules and principles for identification, nomenclature, and classification of organisms. The branch of biology dealing with these aspects is referred to as taxonomy. Life is a characteristic that distinguishes objects that have signaling and self-sustaining processes from those that do not, either because such functions have ceased, death, or else because they lack such functions and are classified as inanimate. Biology is the science concerned with the study of life. Characteristics features of living things slash differences between living and non-living things. Growth, living organisms grow in mass and number. Living organisms show internal growth due to addition of materials and formation of cells inside the body. Non-living organism like mountains, boulders, crystals also grow but due to addition of similar materials to their outer surface. Growth, therefore, cannot be taken as a defining property of living organisms. Reproduction, many organisms like mules, sterile worker bees, infertile human couples do not reproduce. Therefore, reproduction is not an all-inclusive characteristic of living organism. However, no non-living object has the power to reproduce or replicate. Metabolism, the sum total of all types of chemical reactions occurring in an individual due to specific interactions amongst different types of molecules in the interior of cells is called metabolism. All activities of an organism including growth, movements, development, reproduction etc. are due to metabolism. There are two types of metabolism catabolism and anabolism. Anabolism includes all the building up reactions to increase the mass of the organism like photosynthesis. In catabolism breakdown reactions are involved, such as respiration, digestion etc. No non-living objects show metabolism. An isolated metabolic reaction, S, outside the body of an organism, performed in a test tube is neither living nor non-living. Hence, while metabolism is a defining feature of all living organisms without exception, isolated metabolic reactions in vitro are not living things but surely living reactions. Hence, cellular organization of the body is the defining feature of life forms. Response to stimuli, it is the awareness of the surroundings and responding to external stimuli. External stimuli may be physical, chemical, or biological. Plants also respond to stimuli like light, water, gravitation, pollution etc. All living organisms prokaryotic to eukaryotic respond to different kinds of stimuli. Human being is only organism who is aware of himself. Consciousness therefore becomes the defining property of living organisms. Biodiversity It is the variability among living organisms from all sources, including terrestrial, marine, and other aquatic ecosystems and the ecological complexes of which they are part. This includes diversity within species, between species, and of ecosystems. Range of organisms present on Earth, 1.7 to 1.8 million. Identification, comparing similarities and differences with already known ones. Nomenclature, naming of organisms. The names are unique and universal. Rules for nomenclature. ICBN, International Code for Botanical Nomenclature. ICZN, International Code for Zoological Nomenclature.
Binomial nomenclature. Carl Lauslinius is father of taxonomy. Its names are of two parts. Generic name, genus. Specific epithet, species. Guidelines and principles for nomenclature. It should be in Latin slash derived from Latin. If it is written in italics when types and underlined when handwritten. It contains two parts, first word is genus, second word is species. Genus name starts with capital while species name starts with small letters. Name should be short, precise and easy to pronounce. Name of the author is written as an abbreviated form after the species name. X. Mangifer Lin. Classification. It is the process by which anything is grouped into convenient categories based on some easily observable characteristics. Classification makes the study of organisms convenient. Category Taxa Taxonomy The process of classification on the basis of external and internal structure along with internal structure of cell, development process, and ecological information is known as taxonomy. Systematics Different kinds of organisms and their relationships Linnaeus, System and Naturi, Evolutionary Relationships Among Organisms Thank you. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We wish you the very best. Until next time, bye.